This video is going to show you how to take some coffee stir straws and some twist ties and uh, use them to make uh, geometric frames like this that can be used for dipping into soapy water. Okay, so pretty easy um, to make a three-way juncture like we have here on the tetrahedron and like we have here on the cube. Those are three-way junctures. You can simply take one of the uh, twist ties, fold it in half, and then about a third of the way from that bent end, put a good couple of twists in there, nice and tight. Okay, so uh, there we go. And then these two loose ends, you kind of just fold over Okay, so it makes like a Y in which each of these three points is a bent over um, twist tie. Um, and that gives a nice tight fit. Um, you can take full length uh, coffee stirs or you can cut them down to whatever size you want. But, um, and you may want to kind of pinch this a bit to make it a little easier to stick in there. But you want it to be a good friction fit, not something that's going to fall off. And because it's bent over, you get that extra bit of friction there. So, um, one, two, and then the third one. And the way we're doing this now is it's, it's going to be temporary. I mean, it sticks together. But if you want to take these apart and to reassemble it to something else, that's easy to do. Um, you can use glue, and I'll show that in a bit. But uh, So that's how you make a three-way juncture. Once again... Just take one of the twist ties, fold it in half, twist it, not halfway, but it might be about a third of the way from that doubled over end, maybe about two or three tight twists, open that up, and then take these two longer ends and bend them over. Okay, so you end up with Here we go. Three doubled over ends. And I can now just continue building on the other side here and uh, put that there. And I'm about half done with the tetrahedron then. <laughs> okay, just to give you an idea. So we continue with that. What if you want to do a four way juncture? Okay, we would use a four way juncture here where we put a handle on the tetra. You can see how there's four coffee stir straws. Or we need a four-way juncture here if we're going to build an octahedral frame. Okay? To get a four-way juncture, um, probably the easiest way is to use two uh, twist ties and right there, cross them and give a good tight twist or three. Okay? Now you have a big old X and just double over these four protruding ends and you've got yourself a nice four-way juncture, okay? If the, if the uh, twist ties are long enough, you could do this as well. Instead of cut, doubling it over it um, halfway, maybe about, hmm, I don't know, two-fifths of the way. So like this, bend it over, put a couple twists in there, then take this longer one, do the same, bend it over, a couple of twists. So now we have that kind of a shape. Again, double over these last two protruding ends there and you have a four-way juncture, okay, made out of just one twist tie. But I'd say it's probably easier and gives you um, more surface area contact with the inside of the coffee stirs and therefore a stronger bond just by doing it this way, okay? There's a four-way. Um, five-way, and you'd use a five-way for, that's right, 
the icosahedron, 20-sided figure, involves five-way junctures. And those could be done kind of a hybrid of the two. Um, so take two, cross them over, um, not to make a plus sign, to make more of a kind of a cross. Okay, and then out of this longest piece left here, you're going to do a double over there. Okay, so you have that and four protruding ends. You can do whatever you want there for a five-way juncture, but that gives you an idea of how to do a five-way juncture. And you would use that again if you're trying to do an icosahedron or you want to put a handle an extra one coming out of this octahedral frame. Okay, so there's a five-way juncture made out of two coffee stirs. They don't all have to be the same length, obviously. It's, it's best if they're close, but um, yeah. Okay. So if you want to glue these to make them more permanent, um, just because you, they're slipping apart, um, you can simply take some of this. This is some... Uh, E6000 premium glue, um, industrial strength contact adhesive. And this is especially good for plastic to plastic. It dries out pretty quickly, so I'd recommend just putting a dab on a piece of cardboard or something like that. Not much, about the size of a pea, and know that you're going to do that over and over again. Because if you do that and try to work with it for five minutes, after about three minutes, or uh, just two minutes, it's it's dried up. So, so it just dip that little um, end in there, and then when you slide this in, and you might need to twist a bit there. There we go. And it might get a little messy there. It cleans up very well on the when you're done just by rubbing it off, kind of like rubber cement does. But inside there now, you have contact between the inside of the coffee stir and the edge of the uh, uh, twist tie. So I'll do that with this one too here just to show you. A little dab there and uh, insert that here. Whoop, there we go. So we'll see what that looks like. There's a little drop of glue there, no big deal. Okay, and then let that dry. Ideally I'd let it dry 24 hours and then it's it's good to go. But this right here may be enough to do five or six junctures and uh, don't put too much there because it'll just be wasted because it dries out pretty quickly there. Um, then just put another dab down, do another five junctures.